Hello, in this lecture we're going to define gross margin. According to Fundamental Accounting Principles, Wild 22nd Edition, the definition of gross margin is also called gross profit, net sales minus cost of goods sold. Definition, net sales, not net income. That's going to be sales minus the contra sales accounts, which are returns and allowances. So that's basically the sales number minus the cost of goods sold. That's the cost of the inventory that we are selling. If we're a manufacturing company or a merchandising company, that cost of sales being the most important expense, usually the largest expense. Therefore, we have this section on the income statement. Generally, if we have a multi-step income statement to calculate the gross margin or also called the gross profit. We look at the calculation, we would say sales, and again, sales being here representing net sales, meaning, meaning the bottom line number on the sales section of the multi-step income statement, sales minus sales return allowance and discount being 100,000 in this case. We're going to subtract out the cost of goods sold, the most important expense, the expense related to the inventory that we are selling. That would then give us the gross margin, 25,000, also called gross profit, 25,000. We're not yet down to net income, the bottom line of the income statement, but the gross margin or the gross profit is a very important number in getting down to that bottom line number on the income statement. That's why it's often broken out in a multi-step income statement when we're talking about a manufacturing company or a company with inventory because that cost of goods sold relationship to sales is very important.